Hi, this is Dr. Mitchell, and as you can see, we're in Power BI and we're in Reports. Now, I'm going to show you my practice file. Um, what you're seeing here is a canvas. I have uh, saved this, so uh, we have a some information on here. As you can see, I have a map here that shows the revenue, and then uh, we have the revenue by salesperson, the revenue by category, and revenue by a month. It's uh, basically interactive, so if I click on one of the salesmen, then it's going to show where her territory is, the type of products and percentage to uh, the, in, for example, this is beverages, and so it's showing how much she sold, and her revenue by month. If I want to unfocus, I just click on that again, and it brings it here. You'll notice I have a name at the top. I also have more than one page, so we're on page one here. I'll go to page two. In page two, I have even included some instructions, and I have a uh, some slicers here, and that should be a terminology that you're already familiar with. So, for example, these are my, my top buyers, my top purchasing companies, and they're uh, done in a version that shows the largest on top and so on. If I want to see what uh, Ann Larson is selling, for example, then I can click on Ann Larson and it shows who she's selling to as well as what products. If I want to see who is buying beer, as an example, I can click on that and it's going to show. If I want to see who is buying chocolate, I can click on the chocolate. And this is just a slicer like anything else that we've seen uh, to use the slicer for. So that kind of gives you an idea of how I, where I want to go with this and how to, how to do it. Now I'm going to actually uh, create one. So I'm going to go back to my workspace, going to my reports, and then I'm going to click over here in the right and click create. I want to click a report and I want to use this data so I click create. So now I have a blank canvas. So the first thing you want to do is you can lay it out. So I know I want to have my um, my map over here and I want to move it down a little bit because I want to have a I want to have a title so I can put a title up here. I move that. And let's type ABC Global. Uh, I could add more information in here, like you might want the year. I think this is 2014 data and so on. You can change the heading to be bold and also, just like anything else, you can make it look pretty. Uh, so we'll, we'll put that in there, but we can actually put more in there if we wanted to. And so I've got this in here, and what I want to do now, as soon as you pick on this, you'll see it's got, you can tell you have a hold of it because it's got your little handlers around it. I want to drag my state into the location field, and then I want to draw my revenue into the value size field. And so as what you, what you now have is, um, essentially a map that shows the revenue and I use state but you could use city even and then over here on this side I'm going to put a um, I want to kind of have a thing for the salesman over here kind of like a, a slicer but not quite a slicer because I want data in it so on my axis I will put my salespeople up here on that and then my revenue is going to be my value and as you can see it's uh, starting to come together that looks pretty nice over here on the bottom right I'm going to use a pie chart and for this pie chart I'd like to have uh, let's see the product name and the revenue into the values and so we've got some got some items in here that are going to show. And then what I want to put over here, by the way, when I click on this, if you go back in here and click a button, it'll right over the top of it. It's no big deal, but I just thought I'd tell you that. Um, so now I'm going to go get a trend line. 
And for this trend line, I'm going to bring the month into the axis and the revenue into the values and then we get a nice trend line we can make it a little bit bigger if i can make it a little bit bigger here and move this one over um although i'm getting that pretty small what i'm trying to do is make the months show up as uh not at not at a at an angle but you get the idea and, and this this uh is basically usable even at this point. I can click on this and see the data move. I didn't show you page two. I think that's something at this point you should be able to figure out. Uh, and uh, hopefully this will give you a understanding of how to create the report. Now if I go ahead and save this out now, I can call it ABC Global Report and how many pages like I might have uh, I'm just going to call it practice too. But anyway, uh, this will give you an idea how to save your report. Now my report is saved. So that if I go back in my um, work reports here, you're going to see here's my practice 2 file. And now when I go into my report and I've got it saved, it's uh, basically able for, uh, for folks to interact with it. And we'll look at the next video to see how we might share and actually post it to a web web page.